this morning. A city devoted for more than 350 years to the business of learning. Home to America's oldest university, the Good Morning America Great New England Bus Tour has come to Harvard Yard. Spencer was just talking about crew. He is down at the boathouse, and as you know, Harvard lies along the Charles River. Many of its athletic facilities are right near the Charles, and when it comes to rowing, of course, that athletic facility is right on the Charles, and Harvard has a great rowing tradition. Now, athletes know the importance of teamwork, but our Steve Fox went to the Harvard boathouse, and he learned very quickly that nowhere is teamwork, literally pulling together, more important than in crew. It is among the most beautiful of sports, turning raw muscle, precision timing, and synchronized teamwork into speed. These are varsity oarsmen at Harvard, where Harry Parker has been coached for 30 years. Cut these balls, but keep the cases down. Keep the cases down. When you're in a boat, and you're all working well together, what is it thrilling? The magic. Magic. Uh, you have, uh, I mean, that's, it doesn't happen all the time, uh, maybe rarely, maybe not in a race, maybe only occasionally in a practice, but it's, uh, it's a feeling that you have the power of everybody in the boat right in the end of your oar. They've been rowing at Harvard for more than 140 years. In fact, it's the very first intercollegiate sport, older than baseball, basketball, and football. There is tradition everywhere in Harvard's boathouse. Crew members of the past, a reflection of those working out today. The fact of the matter is, most of us know very little about this sport. And frankly, for the uninitiated, a crew race can look an awful lot like a simple, uncomplicated trip down a river. Well, it turns out that there are some very subtle techniques involved in crew racing, plus an incredible amount of physical effort. When they're not on the water, they work out two to three hours a day. These machines are called ergometers. The rowers don't get very far on them, but it does hone their skills. And this is an artificial river, complete with current. They use it to train in the winter when the river is frozen. Let the boat move in between the puddles. But it's not just muscle. The team must work as a unit in perfect synchronization. Even one person being off on his timing, um, either going in or coming out with the oar, and also the way he moves his body back and forth, can, uh, can throw a boat off so badly that uh, it, you won't, the, won't be able to function effectively at all. A little rush. Even an oarsman's position is critical. The one in the first seat, for example, sets the pace. Other rowers are seated according to their own abilities. The goal is the perfect fit. The coaches sometimes spend all season looking for the right fit and, and without success uh, sometimes it happens by accident you know you know you someday somebody's sick you put somebody else in the boat ah there it is you know <laughs> but uh, but usually it takes a lot of work <laughs> one of the most critical positions on the team is the coxswain in addition to steering the boat since only he can actually see where they're going the coxswain gives orders by headset on the pace of the rowing okay Colin, don't drop your hands right after the five row Coxswains have to be fairly confident in what they're doing and able to take these eight oarsmen who are all excellent athletes and what, twice the size of the coxswain in their own right and and gain their respect and be consistent and, and uh, be fairly authoritative in um, commanding them. The result? A well-oiled machine. A team that can win. And they do. Harvard has won a slew of major races, five national championships, and Britain's prestigious Henley Regatta. Ask them about rowing, and these guys turn into poets. It's inspiring seeing decades and decades of rowers looking back at you and, you know, saying work hard and, and be, be as good as we were. 
you transcend sort of the normal bounds of work and effort. There's no other sports which I know of are, are quite the same feeling. It, it's really something special, it's sort of magical.